Okay, so uh, we'll now turn our attention to, again, the surface represented by R U V X U V I plus Y U V J plus Z U V K. Now, I've just written it there just for, again, our uh, uh, viewers who are, of course, uh, doing any engineering, um, would be very keen and quite regularly use uh, the I J K. But I personally, as I said, uh, my choice is to use it um, as vectors in this form rather than the IJK. But anyway, that's uh, not important. However, I've just written these two here just for you to see how, sorry. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, we wanna get, explore the idea of how we can compute the equation of a tangent plane, for instance, to this surface. Now in order to do that, let's we have to look at some ideas first of all. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna look at, for instance, what is the derivative of R with respect to U, for instance. And what it is, in fact, is, it's simply partial x by u, partial y by uh, u, and partial z with respect to u. And similarly, we can also calculate the v derivative of r. Now this is, of course, if you remember, um, r dash of t, if you remember that, okay, which is the, the single parameter case. So we were looking at tangent lines in, the, in that case. So this is now a tangent plane. So R, so, but in this case, of course, there are two parameters. So instead of a full complete derivative, you have partial derivatives. So anyway, RV is going to be partial X by V of obviously partial Y by V and partial Z by V. So these are two ideas that you need to first of all understand RU and RV, how we calculate them. Now, so what happens is on a surface, when you're looking at this, if you have some point, uh, obviously we need a point P0 on a surface, then uh, we have some interesting things that we can talk about. Um, for instance, the one thing that we look at is, uh, before we get to a, the point part, sorry, let me just define what's, what's, um, what we mean by a smooth surface. So let's define what a smooth surface actually is. So a smooth surface is when we take the cross product R cross, uh, RU cross RV, and if that is not equal to the zero vector, okay, the zero vector. So if it's not equal to the zero vector, we say that um, it's smooth, so it cannot be equal. So this is the condition for uh, smoothness of a surface, okay? That's the first thing you need to understand. So it has, doesn't have any corners in it. Now, the, the other thing we need to understand is that um, RU cross RV, in fact, is, has another interesting property. RU cross RV is normal, is a normal vector to the surface, okay, to the surface S represented by these, uh, by this RUV, okay? So it's normal to that surface. So this means, this means, if you remember, we have a, if we have a point on the plane, we can calculate RU cross RV, uh, you know, as the, uh, basically the tangent plane at that point. And then we have a point and we can use the point normal equation of the plane to calculate this. Let me show this with an example. So let's look at this example. R is U squared V squared U plus 2V. And we want to find uh, the equation of the tangent plane uh, or, or the tangent planes uh, to the surface with uh, these parametric equations at the point 1, 1, 3. Now, if we want to do that, first thing we'll do is we'll calculate our u, and our u turns out to be the u derivative, so that's going to be 2u, 0, and of course 1, and our v is going to be 0, 2v, and 2. So those are, now if we calculate our u cross our v, Okay, using the standard method of calculating, uh, we will end up with minus 2v, minus 4u, okay, and 4uv. So that will be our cross product. Now, uh, at the point, so we have to check at the point, uh, no, at the point 113, now the, the point 113, we need to look at it separately here. So the point 113, means we need to convert it into the uv parameters. So it means that u squared is equal to 1, and v squared is equal to 1, and of course u plus 2v should be 3. So what value of uv will enable that is actually u equals 1 and v equals 1. Okay, because see, if you put that in here, 1 plus 2 is 3. See, if you put it in here, 1 
plus 2 is 3, and u squared 1, square root of 1 is plus minus 1, and plus minus 1. We'll ignore the negative ones, so therefore, we end up with u is equal to 1 and v equal to 1. So that will tell us that the normal, um, okay, the normal at um, 1, 1, okay, is the normal at 1, 1, 3. So that's going to be minus 2, minus 4, and 4. So now we don't need to do much more than uh, just uh, go now to the line. So what we're looking at is this is our normal vector, okay, and our point is 1, 1, 3. So the, the plane, the tangent plane, so the tangent plane at 1, 1, 3, okay, is going to be uh, minus 2 times x minus 1 plus, or rather I should say, sorry, minus 4 times y minus 1 uh, plus, plus 4 times z minus 3 equals 0. And that will boil down to just uh, x plus 2y minus 2z plus 3 equals 0. So you see you've got there the, the tangent plane to the surface um, defined here by this r. Okay.